welcome. In this video we're going to be uh, demonstrating some of the capabilities that you can do with Carcinia regarding the uh, the forms, uh, the PDF forms and uh, and getting the customer signatures. Now um, what we're going to be showing in this video is not a direct Carcinia feature, um, uh, although you know uh, all of our forms are PDF forms so uh, these features basically um, are uh, are provided by external uh, software uh, that you can find everywhere, and um, they, you know we're going to be demonstrating how you can use uh, these external systems to be able to get uh, customer signatures and um, uh, you know send them to to banks or uh, whatever you may want to do with them. Now first. Uh, the the most common uh, thing that you may be uh, encountering with uh, with customers is that um, you will be uh, you will you will need to send a form to them uh, kind of like a credit application and uh, you will need them to to actually sign it now um, when you when you create a new deal uh, in in Carcinia uh, there's the forms tab as you can see. Um, you can you can enter all the customer information that you may have at that time. Some of this information may already be, be pre-filled from the website um, that you may have with us. But um, uh, even if uh, it is not, you can you can come here and um, you know uh, go to any uh, any of these forms um, and uh, you can you can email them uh, as you can see here. So. Uh, in this case, I, I can actually send an email to myself, or um, you know, uh, you, this would actually be going to the customer. Now, uh, before sending to the customer, you can actually view the uh, view the form, and uh, this is the uh, credit application form that we have. Uh, but you know, this this basically applies to all the forms that you may have uh, within the system, and uh, you know, a common use case here would be uh, for customer to fill out the additional information comments or um, you know whatever uh, additional uh, uh, you know income related uh, things that they may have other sources of income etc and obviously after they fill it out they would need to sign it and uh, and send it back to uh, the dealership um, at which time it can go to the uh, financing companies so um, how can you do that um, the, the easiest way um, obviously would be uh, to directly email it to the customer here but uh, if you want to be able to uh, send it for example uh, uh, an empty form is uh, you, you can you can actually create an empty deal in the system and then uh, save this um, save this form like a uh, credit app uh, in your in your desktop or something and then um, you know you can you can actually uh, view this form uh, with, uh, with the uh, Adobe Reader, and um, you can uh, whatever you, uh, this this is basically a um, uh, you, you know you can actually type the uh, the data in this form and save it in your desktop. So um, you know if you create an empty deal, obviously all of these areas will be empty. So uh, you can send it to any uh, any customers that you may have uh, in an easy fashion. But um, uh, you know, you can also send it in a, in a half uh, pre-filled uh, fashion from the system as well. So, let's say uh, you know you send it to the customer, and um, and uh, the customer actually uh, grab uh, found, uh, got the application, and uh, now um, you know you can uh, let's say we actually sent it over here. We email it to the customer. In this case, I'm just going to be sending it to myself. Okay, so I sent it to myself, and uh, let's see if we're going to be getting the the form here. It should be coming soon. Sometimes it takes a uh, little bit. soon but uh, while we're waiting I mean we already have the form over here uh, we can just 
open it with the uh, Adobe Reader. So uh, the, when the customer actually uh, receives this uh, receives this this form uh, that you send, um, they may they may have uh, either a regular desktop computer or um, or uh, they may have a, a tablet or or a phone or something like that. So in this video, we're going to be showcasing uh, both of them. So let's say uh, the customer actually received it, and uh, you know they they uh, they have a regular desktop computer, and uh, they saved the uh, created application over here. Um, they entered all this information, and um, let's, say, uh, let's say they have uh, they entered uh, test comments or whatever it may be, and now it's uh, it's time for them. To to actually sign it, so in Adobe Reader, there's a there's a tab here called Sign. So whenever you want to sign any form, you can actually use this uh, this little utility. It says, "I need to sign." Oh, uh, we just got the um, created application uh, sent from the system. As you can see, this is how how it would look like, and uh, we're going to be show uh, we can open this from the from the Android side. Um, so let's say right now we're in the in the Windows side. Uh, the customer actually received this application, and uh, they saved it to the desktop and they opened it with the Adobe Reader, and uh, they they filled out all the information, and uh, now it's time to place a signature. Now uh, they would actually cl click on this, place signature, and if there is some kind of uh, uh, signature that they already defined, then uh, you know the system can already put it. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, we can uh, change the signature. This is the this is how it will look like when you're first adding uh, a signature. So uh, you can actually draw your signature uh, with the mouse, and uh, if it is a touch screen Windows tablet, then you can actually uh, draw this with the, with the pen or with your uh, with your finger. But in this case, I'm just going to be using a mouse. Um, so let's say, you know, I'm just doing a fake uh, signature here. say accept and uh, you can actually place it over here and then after you uh, say uh, you after the customer signs that signs this uh, they would actually save it um, to the desktop and uh, they can actually email it um, you know but when you when you want to save the uh, signed document uh, Adobe gives you this uh, this uh, commercial uh, offering, so to say, uh, to send it via EchoSign, which is totally not necessary. You can ignore this uh, this uh, dialog. But this is basically the um, the app uh, that that's filled out by the customer, and uh, this is the signature that they saved. So, um, and after that, basically the customer can just um, copy this and uh, and um, send it from their uh, you know favorite email client. Um, so this is um, <coughs> this is how they would do it with the uh, with the Windows uh, desktops and uh, Macs uh, probably have uh, a similar uh, mechanism. It's just opening up with the uh, Adobe Reader and uh, you know doing the signature and uh, saving the PDF form and then sending it. <coughs> now uh, let's uh, let's talk about like the, uh, the 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 mobile platforms, which is uh, iPad. Uh, iPhone, Android uh, phones, Android tablets, and Windows phones, and uh, for all those cases, um, you would need to install Adobe Reader, um, and uh, that just like the the desktop version, you would need the Adobe uh, version or on these uh, mobile temp uh, mobile platforms. Now, uh, this is a Windows uh, machine, obviously, um, but we're going to be doing the uh, Android emulation here. So this is um, this is a similar platform to to the Android uh, that you would see. It's just the emulation of it. <coughs> now, um, in order to um, uh, get emails, I'm using uh, K9 here. But you know, every mobile platform has their own um, uh, email uh, readers. And like I said, uh, you would definitely need the um, 
uh, Adobe Reader uh, installed in your system in your iPhone, iPad or Android tablet or Windows Phone uh, whatever you may be using um, and uh, you know you would actually have uh, an, uh, an email obviously so th this is basically what the customer would see after you sent them the um, the uh, you know form uh, with, uh, to their email address so this is what they see here and uh, they would uh, ideally open this and uh, the system automatically uh, detects that this is a PDF file and uh, it ba basically opens it with the uh, uh, mobile Adobe Reader and um, you know mind, uh, bear in mind that this would normally be a touch screen um, so you would actually go from uh, 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 field to field uh, with your with your hands and then you would actually type it so it may be a little bit long but uh, it's not undoable um, and then basically they would fill it out all this information <coughs> and then they would come to the signature part which is uh, what we're going to be demonstrating here now uh, the Adobe mobile platforms um, when you click on any one of these fields it's it's somewhat difficult to bring it up but uh, after you click on it uh, and then you click on another area this this bark uh, comes up so I'm first clicking on one of the fields and then uh, to the other areas and now I'm clicking on this um, pen icon and this here is basically the signature <laughs> it's very hidden um, but this basically allows you to uh, to be able to place a signature and uh, when, whenever you click on it and you can, this is like I said you can actually use this um, with uh, with any touchscreen device and uh, it's pretty much the same in all platforms iPhone Windows Phone uh, iPad Android tablets uh, whatever you have uh, it's a it's a very similar interface in all in all platforms it's consistent <coughs> um, so in this case you know I already had a uh, signature before but let's uh, if you if I had not uh, if I did not have a signature before uh, it would actually ask me uh, to enter it so I'm just going to be entering this um, so this is what what would appear and in this case uh, imagine that you have uh, a touch screen um, interface and you can actually uh, again I can just uh, enter some kind of uh, bogus signature here and then you could you, you would click save and it actually saves over here but you may notice that it's not uh, you know the the, the default uh, font is a little bit uh, thick so you can actually um, delete it and then we can re-add it somewhere here edit save signature and you can actually set the thickness to one point if you want to be able to look a little bit more precise and uh, after you save the signature you would click on this icon <coughs> which is share and we would actually email it back to uh, you know the person that you got this from um, you know the customer is now emailing back the filled out form and um, goes back and uh, you know, we're going to be uh, imagine that this is uh, basically your uh, platform uh, receiving the <coughs> receiving the filled out form again it takes a little bit uh, for the form to arrive but um, it, it would come uh, in, a, in, a, in a filled fashion kind of like the one that we, uh, we saw over here with with the with the uh, sign um, version like this. Okay, so um, let's say you you actually got the uh, got the signed application, um, and now you can actually um, you, you may want to do uh, one of two things. Um, uh, number one, you may want to save this somewhere in the system. Now, Carcinio offers a nice way to be for you to be able to organize your documents. So, uh, I in every vehicle, um, you can actually add documents. Okay, so we just got the um, signed application over here. 
and uh, as you can see I'm opening it up and this is a signed form as it came from the Android tablet. So um, let's say uh, I want to save this in my in my desktop and uh, you know I one thing that I may want to do is uh, I want to save this uh, this signed application along with my um, with my vehicle so that I can remember later on uh, what it was so let's get let's save this uh, credit app filled out and uh, you can actually add this to Carcinia and uh, save it over here and whenever you want to view it you can just view it um, as usual uh, and after uh, you receive it obviously if um, you need any signatures you can you can add your own signatures and then email it back to the uh, to the banks and uh, you can again save the the form at various uh, stages um, and this basically applies to all the forms in the system um, yeah that's about it contact us uh, if you have any questions thank you